Today is going to be the final set of uh, beads, which is 26 to 30. These are the beads. A beautiful set. So uh, I've already laid out the uh, colors that I'm going to be using as well. Again, this favorite red of mine. Uh, a yellow deep. And this one's uh, this one's an ocean green. Blue. A light olive green. Black. Gold. And silver. I forgot to um, add, I mean, I will be using white as well. And with regard to the brushes, uh, the, the, the regular set, my liner brush and a size uh, 6 round tip soft bristle brush. So for this particular one, I start off with a base coat of this beautiful gorgeous red. It's a deep, deep red. And that's with yellow. A nice, bright, sunny yellow. Light olive green. This this is where I'm using white. And there. It's a pretty bead. For this one, the base coat is going to be of that nice, beautiful light blue. I'm going to be using antique silver for this. I've basically mixed silver with a little bit of black. And I roll this bead in my hands. So obviously the, um, the place which has the cut work has this beautiful blue and the rest of it is covered in this antique silver. I think it's a really lovely, lovely piece. With this particular one, I'm going to be doing a half and half, you can say. So half of the bead is going to be in this beautiful red, um, deep red color. And the other half is going to be in the ocean green. It's a beautiful pastel color. Um, I just personally don't use this much, but I really like the color as such. Um, it's just a... Add a little bit of white. Once again, adding a little more white. Gold. This bead is also ready. I think a big cluster of this bead together would look really nice. For this one, I'm retaining the color, the uh, natural terracotta color. And I'm going to be using just two colors for this because it's quite heavily worked on. Uh, I just want to highlight a couple of designs. So I'm just using the blue and, the, and green. Again, uh, a beautiful combination. And that's it. Simple, easy, beautiful. With this particular one, um, I do not want to lose the texture. So obviously I'm going to be um, adding some metallic shade to it. So the first thing is a base coat of black followed by an antique gold. I'm getting antique gold by mixing a little bit of black with gold paint. Make sure it's spread evenly on my palm. And I give it a quick roll. That way, the cut work as well as the texture is beautifully seen. This is this is definitely one of my favorite beads also. <laughs> so yeah, 
um now that everything is painted uh, it's time to varnish this is the product i use give it a good shake and transfer a little bit of the contents into a bowl or a container and using a broad bristle soft brush i varnish each of the beads once again if you have not had a chance to see the making of these beads please don't forget to check out the description box so you have all the beads ready it's 26 to 30 So I really hope you all enjoyed watching this um, painting series as well. Um, thank you so much for your time, and thank you so much for watching.